as a continuation with the previous video guys okay what i said so when we have a double quotes when we have a double quotes how to remove these double quotes when we get the uh, double quotes from the source okay that is the text quote identifier okay so we can uh, know so the file option just now i said while explaining the the package right so we'll go with the package and then this time we'll create a, uh, a new package uh, right click on that go with the new package and then uh, rename with the package name as a text quote okay text quote so don't miss that uh, you know dtsx case okay this is the extension for this file if you, you know uh, if you remove this dtsx it will take you to the miscellaneous okay so it will not work okay it will not understand what is this uh, file and all okay so try to you know uh, don't <clears throat> okay yeah so don't you know uh, remove this dtsx okay so if you uh, if you want to try that okay it will take you to uh, you know miscellaneous or not you can try that okay yeah so just double click on the data flow so it will uh, bring this data flow and then double click on that and then connect the source now okay so double click on the source file that is a flat file so now configure that double click and then go and configure browse the file so where we have this pipe rights so pipe symbol and if you go with the columns and then uh, preview data so we have a text quote identifier actually so there is a delimiters okay so like uh, we have a double quotes okay if you if you keep a double quotes here it will remove the that is the option is here okay that is the reason so i am going with this option actually so if you don't keep this we will get the output uh, you know uh, with the double quotes actually so uh, so we'll uh, cancel this we'll cancel this we'll go with the new uh, no so we'll first we'll see okay what is the problem we'll face and all okay so the tab one right sorry tab and uh, we'll see the see there is a double quotes I, I think we have connected with the different one so there is a double quotes okay when you when you give uh, this with the double quotes so when you go with that so there is no double quotes guys okay? hope you understand right so hope you understand so earlier when we have seen there is a double quotes when i uh, use this double quote text quote identifier okay <coughs> so if you have a double quotes in the source okay you have to use uh, double quotes here okay in text quote identifier you have to give the double quotes identifier it automatically remove the double quotes from the uh, you know this one okay and also you can change the data types okay if it is integer data type so id is an integer if you want to keep the ID as an integer, okay, ID as an integer, then we can go with that uh, four byte uh, integer. Okay, four byte. Where is the ID? See, this is the four byte signed integer. This is the integer. Okay, so you can go with the integer and the name. Uh, okay, name um, varkar Okay, this is fifty is fine, and the salary. Again, you can go with the integer only, okay? Four byte integer, or if you want to go with the four byte, uh, you know, float also, not a problem. Okay, you can go with the float. So anything is fine. Um, and then click OK. Even you can ask suggested data types also. It will, you know, give like what is the, uh, you know, data types and all. It will give the suggestions. Okay, automatically it will, uh, you know, give the, so like how in Power BI auto data types the same way. We have this one and then click OK. And so if you have an else, then you can go with the, uh, you know, if you have blanks, you can go with the else. Okay, you can, if you, you can check always, you know, uh, you know um, uh, this one case. Okay, if there is any uh, blank values, that will quickly replace the nulls. Okay, you can go with, the, you can check up every time, not a problem. Okay, if you want a blank as this, then uncheck that. Okay, and then click OK. And uh, now you can go with the uh, OLEV destination and the click OK. So then this time we go with the new connection. So delete the existing connection and go with the new connection. Um, and just start. And then my database name is uh, SSISDB. So you can take SSISDB and then test the connection. So click OK and then click OK and then click OK. 
So just to go with the mapping. Without mapping, you should, um, like you need to select the table, right? So which table, okay, this time we'll create a new table. Okay, this time we'll create a new table. So when you change that into, so automatically, it's identified the data types, see, test. Okay, so this automatically identified here. And then uh, within the brackets, you can uh, write a table name. Okay, you can go with the TBL. The TBL means table. Okay, table, uh, text quotes. Okay, text quotes identified. Text quote identified file. Okay, that data, right? So, and then click OK. And then click on mappings. So, it will map. Okay, even you will not space any, you will not go with any mismatch data types. Why? Because we are creating as this, like, whatever the source data is coming. So we are creating here and then, so the same data types we are giving. So that is the reason there is no data type mismatch. Okay. So if you create uh, in your table separately in your uh, SQL server, and then uh, the data source is coming in a different data types, and then you are created with the different data types, then it will again, okay. Depend. So it's a common issue actually in SSIS, it's a common issue. So the data type should be matched and then length should be matched. Okay. Length, if you, if you, if it is getting more than that length, okay, which you have given, so again, it will truncate, uh, truncation issue, you get something like that, okay? So now, uh, click on, uh, so guys, okay, if you have a multiple uh, no, task, no, so then you can go and uh, execute the specific one, okay? Whatever the task execute, you want to execute, you can go and then select the specific uh, execution task, okay? If you have a multiple task, okay? So that one also, you can right click here, or else uh, you can go to this package. So text code identify, you can execute only that one, okay? You can uh, right click and then, Execute, execute this package. So instead of executing all, so we can execute only this package. So it's executed successfully. So let's go to the SQL server and uh, uh, refresh these tables. So there is no, uh, uh, the file, right? So table name, right? So this text code. So let's take, drag that into uh, this one and remove this file. Okay, so let's remove this file and then try to execute this now. See, without, okay. So if you uh, keep that text code identifier, that will give only with the double quotes. Try that one, guys, okay. Without keeping double quotes, you can try that. Definitely, you will get the double quotes, okay. So share the results in comment box, guys, okay. If you, you are getting the same results or not, okay. Yeah, thank you. Hope you like the video. Please uh, share and subscribe. It's a very, very important interview question also. Okay, so most of the people in real time also don't know this. Okay, thank you.